Hey girl, it's Sonia and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you guys shopping. We're going to the drugstore and I'm gonna be picking out 10 products under $10. Okay, so you already know, we're gonna get a lot of cute hair and beauty products. We know we're gonna keep it on budget. And before we get into this video, like always, don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe to this channel if you have yet to join my family. And ah, let's go shopping. Skirt. Before we go shopping, I should let you guys know that this video was made in partnership with Garnier and CVS Beauty. I'm super excited. Show some love in the comments down below with some little green hearts. I appreciate you guys so much for all of your love, support, energy, and really just like rooting for me. So thanks guys. Okay, now for real, let's go shopping. First thing I gotta do when I get to CVS is always grab myself a basket because I know it's going down. I don't wanna get a cart because I don't wanna overdo it because you know we're on a budget here. Only items under $10. Also, it is hair color savings month this month at CVS. So check out the hair coloring aisle. I love me some Garnier and I've been using the Garnier Nutris Nourishing Color Cream in the shade number 11, Blackest Black or Peppercorn. It is my signature color. I totally recommend it. So many of you have left me beautiful compliments about my hair and its health, the shine, the color, and it's because of this little box right here, okay? It's under $10 and it comes in a ton of different shades. I have to touch up my roots at least once a month. A pair of gloves, the developer, and it's labeled A, B, C, and D so you don't get it twisted. Here is the cream color and it smells so good. You're going to drop this into the developer the fruit oil ampule, and then you shake it up. That's gonna mix it. Make sure you shake it really, really well. I just concentrate on my roots, and then whatever I have left in my bottle, put some in my hand and go over the top of my head to kind of blend it. I love the fact that the formula is not very thin, so you're not gonna have it dripping all over the place. As soon as you're finished with your color application, you're gonna wanna quickly remove any color off of your ears, around your neck, because it is color and it will stain your skin if you don't remove it right away. I just take a makeup remover wipe and wipe it off really quickly and I don't have any issues. The last step would have to be conditioning your hair. This is a little hair mask. Rinse it well and style as usual. Try it if you have not already and let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Speaking of makeup removing wipes, I got this pack and this is from the Beauty 360 line and this is the Ultra Soft Makeup Removing Towelettes and they are for sensitive skin. This is a twin pack and it says, compared to Neutrogena Makeup Removing Cleansing Towelettes, which are my favorite, but these were actually more affordable and you buy one, get one 50% off, so I ended up getting myself another pack because I go through these so, so much. Sometimes, you know you had a long day, at least remove your makeup and I just <laughs> remove them with these wipes and then I'm out. These were $9.99. Again, it was buy one, get one 50% off. So I'm like, hey, I know I'm gonna use them so might as well take advantage of that sale. Next up is going to be a brush from e.l.f. and this is their buffing foundation brush and it was $7.32. I remember when they first came out, like all of their products, everything, the tools, the makeup, were only a dollar. Then they went through their studio line and everything was like three, five, nine dollars at the most. And now they've graduated to a little bit more expensive, but still super affordable, which I really like. Again, this was only seven dollars and some change, and it's super, super soft. If you guys have watched any of my nail tutorials, you know that I have this one trusty, dusty, crusty e.l.f. brush that I've held on for literally longer than my son has been alive and he's about to be 12 next month. So, girl, it's an ancient one. I have to go looking for it because it's lost somewhere in my house and I'm worried sick about her. Don't sleep on the e.l.f. brushes because Apparently they last forever. Also, I've been getting tons of compliments on my eyelashes and these ones in particular are from Kiss and the pack that I got was over $10 but I'm gonna show you some eyelashes from Ardell that are within our video budget. But these are so, so good and I had to just let you guys know what they were. These are the Kiss So Wispy Full Bouncy Volume and Curl Lashes 
and they're in the style pompadour and ruffle. Ruffle are the ones that I'm actually wearing, but I decided to get both of these because again, the sales at CVS are too good. These are actually worth the value, so you pay a little bit more and you get sets of eyelashes. I'm very particular about my lashes, okay guys, and if I'm telling you that they're good, please, Please listen to me and get them before they're selling out, okay? These are the Ardell Texture Eyes Lashes and they're in the style number 575 and I've been purchasing these every single time I see them. I'll almost grab all of them because they're that good. They are $6.75, I believe, and one pack of the five sets of lashes these can run you like 11 to $13 depending on the brand and it's so, so worth the value. Next up is going to be Burt's Bees Ultra Conditioning Lip Balm and this little guy is $4.38 and I need a good lip balm. My lips are always so crusty. I can't help it. I do drink a lot of water but I think it's the medication and the steroids that I am taking for my skin because I've been having a lot of breakouts lately. So. I just needed to make sure that they're hydrated and I don't split them. It's been really hot here in California as well, so I always have to make sure I keep these in my bag. I'm just sold on anything Burt's Bees because the quality of the formulas and all of the products are really nice. And typically they can be more on the expensive side because of the ingredients, they're natural. I'm hoping that it smells good because I'm really particular about the scents that go on my mouth and I'm gonna have to give this one a try. Next up would have to be this teasing comb from GSQ by Glam Squad, and this was $6.21. It's a very light pink, almost lavender, with a neon orange in between, and I love teasing my hair for extra volume. If you guys are like me, where you do your hair, everything looks good, it's all in the air, and then you walk out your door and it goes Pfft. That's when teasing comes into the mix. I'm gonna have to do some more hair tutorials for you guys because as my hair is growing out, it is on. Next is a new brand for me. This is called Joa, I believe, and this is their velvet lip color in their TMI collection, and this is in the shade Last Night. There were a few that was kind of like tough for me to pick, I tend to have like nothing but nudes, mauves, or really dark berries in my lip collection. Those are the ones that I know I would actually wear. I'm trying to get it to open. Ah! Oh, it makes my teeth look whiter. Ow! I feel like I have like some kind of like lip moisturizer, like an oil or something on my lips. Typically with matte lipsticks or matte liquid lipsticks, they tend to dry out your lips, which you already know I have the crustiest lips on earth. So I like the combination of the moisturizer and the finish. So it's really, really nice. And I definitely will have to go back and grab some more. Next up is going to be these boxed nail kits. And I absolutely love them because um, I do my nails a lot. And it's I also have like a, a bite in my nail problem. The nails I have on today are actually glue on and I just paint it over the style when I get bored. I'll just remove you know, the design with a nail file and then go over it with paint and they look brand new, okay? So if you are on a budget and have no time to go get your nails done before a special event, um, maybe you're gonna be taking pictures or maybe even for a special date, Whatever, I'm gonna be single for life. Definitely recommend these. My twin sister is obsessed with these glue on nails, and I think she has the same problem as biting her nails as I do, except for she literally has like a whole drawer filled with these nails because she's constantly changing the style. So yeah, they're really, really easy to do. I have some videos on my Instagram showing you how to apply them. I should show you how to take them off because it's really easy, but I guess a lot of people don't know how to take them off. You can customize these nails or wear them as is. Some people don't like color. Some people go get their manicure and take off with a clear coat, okay? I mean, I'm not that person, but I'm just saying. Like, I love these because I have a ton of different nail polishes that I would love to try out on these nails. A cool thing about this as well is you can try your hand at nail art, watch some tutorials online, and you can practice on these nails 
and you can actually have them in front of you, paint them, and then glue them onto your fingernails, okay? So how easy is that? So color at these two. Next up is going to be a mascara, and this one is from Revlon. This is their So Fierce Big Bad Lash in the shade number 760 Black is Black kind of like my hair color. This mascara is $10.49. I know, I know, we're going over budget, but I used my CVS card and I actually got some money off, so I saved. Next we have Wet n Wild's Jelly Highlight and this was $7.31. It is in the shade number 110A Blaze and Glaze. And I was really interested in this. There wasn't any samplers or you know testers out, so I didn't get to see what I was getting myself into, but I was intrigued. It was affordable, and why not? I've also been playing with a lot of cream products or liquid products and not setting with powder, which I did today, and that's why my skin looks really glowy. This might be like it for me right now. I love it. What is happening here? What is this? Interesting. It's like a mousse. I wouldn't say it's jelly. I was expecting it to be like slime consistency. You know, the, the slime that you're making with your kids every other day during the summer? Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like that, except for I was going to be able to like bounce around with it. I don't know what, what was I thinking? Barely touched it and you can see how powerful this product is. I'm going to apply a little bit of it onto my cheeks to see if I even like the color. I know I have some already on there, but let's just add a little bit more. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to tap it. Is that even gonna, oh, oh, can you guys see it? Of course you can. People on, people on the moon can see it. Okay, I feel like my cheekbones are sticking out a lot more. I, I love it. Okay. And that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. And if there are any other products at the drugstore that you would like me to check out, if there's anything in this video that you want to see a quick review on, or maybe even like a quick Instagram reel um, demonstrating how to use it, let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much to all of you who are watching. Thank you to today's sponsor. Make sure you guys check out the links in the description box below. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!